Alright, so I made a video in the past about how to tune for Hellcat injectors. Um, so I'd like to make another one. Kind of give you uh, another way of looking at things here. Now, one of the things is, is that um, you want to be able to transfer data um, to your tune depending on what you have. So what we have here is we have the Hellcat. Now this is the Hellcat data. You have your table here and you have your table here. Um, your injector pulse width fuel mass and fuel mass versus injector pulse width. Very important. Your limits are important, your offset's important, and basically this here, this is what you need. This is all the data that you need. Now, one of the things is, is sometimes when you open up a file that you want to add this data to. Now, if you need this data, ask me. I can send you a Hellcat file. That's not a big deal. Um, when you need this stuff, let's see. Okay, so when you need this stuff, sometimes the file that you have, the data doesn't transfer appropriately. Um, and one of the things is, is like this is a 61 SRT8 car. Okay, this here is the Hellcat data. Okay, now we're going to open up a compare here versus uh, one of his older, this got gentleman's cam files. Okay, now. You can see here the data here on the left is different and the data here is different. So what you do is the Hellcat data actually has one more row on it than this does. So you need to make the decision which row to leave out. Uh, in this exact file, I believe, there was either a row between 26 and 30 or between 12 and 26 that was left out. Now you need to be able to um, you need to change all this and change this data okay and you need to do the same thing here change this data and change this data okay so i don't know why this lit up red i must have hit something by accident so anyway what comes next is that this data here is fuel mass now you put the same injector on five different engines and based on the engine the camshaft, the engine size, things like that, this data will be different. So with that being said, when you put this data in from the Hellcat, you're going to have to make a, a pretty significant change uh, to get the data to work properly. Okay, so let me, let me take and apply a template that we used on a different file to this file and see if um, how much different this is compared to that one. So let's see. Hellcat injector data non VVT. Okay, let's apply changes and let's see if anything happened here. So pay attention to what we have here 63381, okay? 63185. So the data. Now, let's put this file back behind this, okay? What we've done is I applied a template. Now, we had a 5.7 vehicle that we put Hellcat injectors on, and then we tuned it, and then we created a template to use as a base for the next time we used Hellcat injectors, okay? Um, I don't know what's going on here. I must have been looking at that wrong because that is the data that we are using. So my apologies. We are using that data on there. Um, so what I'm getting at is that once you apply this Hellcat data here to these files, um, you might start your car up and set your reset your fuel trims, and you might find that your vehicle is 20% lean. So you're going to have to come back here and add half of that at a time so add 10 percent to here add 10 percent to this table until you get close um that's just how it's going to work especially if you're running a neural network um so i guess what i'm trying to say is that um just because the data works on a hellcat doesn't mean it's going to work on another vehicle even when you add demon injectors to a hellcat you can't just transfer the demon data to the hellcat it still doesn't line up appropriately which even even on that it doesn't even make any sense whatsoever but 
because the engines are the same size, but the blowers are different size. Um, so, um, go ahead and watch my older Hellcat injector data video, which might be a little out of date compared to everything I've learned now, uh, but it might be worth watching uh, to get a little bit more explanation on other sides of things um, of how to do this appropriately. Um, later on, we'll make a video on how to make templates for those of you who do a lot of vehicles and do a lot of repetitive stuff that don't want to copy and paste. Um, but like I said, the Hellcat injector data is going to go into all of these tables here. And like I said, not all the time do these line up appropriately. And if they don't line up appropriately, you're going to have to remove some of the data from the Hellcat data in order to populate it in. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment or, or private message us and, and just ask what you need or, or even to give us video suggestions.